I have lots of funny memories of the war because I was a kid. And as a kid, you don't know what the hell's going on. You just know that what you're doing. And as far as I was concerned, sitting up half the night with my father on the step, watching the planes go over or watching the air raid, war, the air raid um, lights go up was, was sort of fun. It was fun. I mean, staying up all night was fun. Um, going in an air raid shelter was not fun. Um, and there were lots of things that weren't fun. We were on very strict rations until 1955. We, our rationing totally didn't come off until 1954 or five. Um, so we learned to live, we didn't know any different. We learned to live on what we had. Um, somehow or other, my father always managed to bring food home. Um, and we had a Jewish home so somehow or other, he also managed to bring only Jewish meat home. Mm. We lived on fish, I think. And those days, fish was very plentiful and very cheap. Mm. And um, Yorkshire is, you know, has a border on the coast. More anti I've had more anti-Semitic discrimination in my life than anti-gay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I grew up with it as a kid. And as a kid, you don't know how to deal with it. Um, as I said, I was thrown down the concrete steps outside of school mm -hmm. just for having the day off because we had to have holidays that we took off and that we came back and you got beaten up mm -hmm. quite regularly. Um, you didn't know why. And you don't know as a kid how to fend for yourself. And um, you can't discuss it. There's no discussing. These kids don't know any more than we did. They weren't anti-Semitic. They were the parents were anti-Semitic. They were just doing what they were told at home. And um, we just have to pray that each generation loses all of those, not just anti-Semitism, but racial, the whole bit. It's, we, we're plowing a lot into our youth, a lot of hopes into our youth. Um, and unless they do make some major changes in this world, I'll be glad to leave it. I actually enjoy a lot of the fruit of being elderly, though. As you said, elder and elder. Um, I, I find that I can give good help, good advice when necessary. Um, I thought I, would, I thought I did well with my granddaughter, who, our granddaughter, who I think said to Margaret recently, you know, I'm going to, I'm joining your team. And uh, Margaret didn't say anything. I just said, don't, don't put a, um, a, a, don't give yourself a label. Just do whatever you want just what you feel is right for you but don't give yourself a label and i think that's what all youth should learn